we're talking about what's wrong with your Instagram and YouTube profile. Like if you're doing social media for reels, you're probably like Jade. Something's not working and you're trying to grow and it's something stopping you. We're gonna dive into that today. I love you so, so much. And I just thought I'd bring back an old show called the hashtag Ask Jade Show. All right, hey guys, my name is Jade and we're about to call you guys up. This is the Ask Jade Show where you have a question and I got a I got an answer. Oh, we're gonna dive right in and I'm super excited. I literally haven't done an Ask Jade show in forever and I'm telling you, you guys were complaining to me every single day. And it's just because I haven't been putting up more spots for Ask Jade show. So I'm really excited. I feel like these questions are gonna be really good. You're gonna get some extreme value from this. So we're gonna dive right in. As we're, oh, Sean! You are, back. you are, what? Oh, hey, Jade. <laughs> Sean, you're on the Ask Jade show. Say hi to everybody. Okay, right, so I'm from Brooklyn, New York, going to school in Jersey. And I guess my biggest problem is growing my page or getting some growing just kind of slowly, you know? Yeah, what do you do? Maybe tell the viewers what your account is really about. So my account's mostly just dancing entertainment. I make mainly dance videos, dance freestyles. I do tutorials for my YouTube. Like, why, why Instagram? Why are you starting this? What's your end goal? Um, so I've actually been using Instagram for a year to do this. My end goal pretty much is to just get signed for my dancing to start taking it seriously where I can do my own projects, where I can get paid and can sustain myself so that I can connect with people and hire people. So you want to be signed to a big agency or dance uh, company? What, what agency do you want to go with or what type of, like do you want to move to LA, somewhere really big energy or do you like your side of the world? Or do you, what do you think? Um, I enjoy New York, but I do want to move to LA slowly because people I want to connect with, they're all out in LA and I see them all the time, the same people talking together, making videos together. So I'm like, if I can get out there and make those connections. So, okay, so this is what I would say. Sean, I'm looking at your Instagram and hearing what you're saying, ideally, you want to go to LA, right? Like, you like NYC, but you ideally want to be there because that's where entertainment is, correct? Yeah. So I'm looking at your feed and off the bat, I think it has like when I say LA vibes, this is very, very like personal. Like, I don't know what this means for you, but I'm just thinking in my head when I think LA, like I think people you want to work with are also people that have, you know, the content you need to like basically relate to them. So I'm thinking about people. Have you heard about like millennial dance company when they do all those videos with the, like the red wall and all that? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. and they do a lot of things with like, you know, like Tessa Brooks or like it got a lot of traction through people dancing. So I would say being in like the LA community is kind of thinking about what is really, really relatable to them. So for example, right now you were doing Wii, like Wii Sports. I would love to see you do like the yodeling Walmart boy shit <laughs> like i'm telling you but like dude if you did yodeling especially with coachella like you should have done a coachella dance so i was a time sensitive and q a what do you think so far sean the, the coachella idea i did not even, that didn't even cross my mind it's like oh coachella but doing a dance based around coachella would actually be huge you missed out you missed out sean i'm really upset i'm just kidding um <laughs> and once you're ready because your content is spot on like you got the thumbnails you can actually what i recommend for distribution if you want more followers, it's just shout out pages, you know, going up to dance. Dance pages are huge. And especially if you did the Coachella thing with the fucking yodeling remix in the back and you got featured on like comedy posts, right? you missed out. So the next time that happens, hop on it really quick and create some really cool choreography. You're really talented, Sean. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you, it was. Guys, you gotta be current, okay? If the yodeling boy is cool, if slime, okay, listen, if slime is cool, if we all hopped on the slime trend, we would all be millionaires. But only a few of us are getting the coins, okay? When ASMR was just starting, we should have all collected our coins. It's all about timing, it's all about being the first ones. But do you have the vulnerability to do that? It's scary. So let's see, Sean, the Dharma Nation is watching you. Make sure you like this video right now and hold up. If you kind of semi like my content, I would really hit the notification bell. If you really like my videos, I would definitely hit the notification bell. YouTube's being weird. And if you don't click the bell, you can't see my videos. All right, we got the next call. Hi, this is Jade. You're on the Ask Jade Show. I can't really understand you that well. This is Jade, you're on the Ask Jade Show. My name is Matthew, I'm from East Texas. All right, awesome. What's your question, man? How can I help? So I'm basically trying to build a videography business and I was basically just wondering what's the best way you can go about 
contacting brands. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, do you think you're ready already to start? I'm 15. Matt, like, or do you think you already have the skills? Or is your portfolio and Instagram all good? Like, you're ready to actually contact brands? My current problem is basically that, well, I guess I'm just starting out, and so, yeah, you, you know, have it's three, kind of hard to... Right, you have three posts. Is there a reason why you only have so little? I'm sorry, I can't really hear you that well. Yeah, is there a reason why you have... To what? Is there a reason why you... Can I just call you back? Sorry, can you say again, please? I'm at the gym. Is that possible? Probably not, but if you want to shoot me a message okay. in the comments, I probably will see that better. It's okay, guys. I'll let Matt easy. He's only 15. Oh, what's up, Jerry? Oh, are you fucking driving? <laughs> no, it's okay. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name's Rohan. I'm from uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, and yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. So first of all, it's uh, it's kind of crazy. I'm on the phone right now. Uh, keep up the good work, dude. You you grew a lot in the past. Uh, like you've grown a lot. I'm thinking you're like 13k. Yeah. Like, like, it's like what, it's like 30. That's yeah. crazy. I've never like I've seriously never seen anybody so ambitious or driven. And you, you're very consistent. You don't really take any breaks or anything. Uh, so yeah, basically what I need help with is uh, I just graduated from high school last year, so I'm, I'm doing college because of my mom. I don't really care for it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm working on building my YouTube channel. Um, I have a series. Ideally, who would you like to, I guess, who would you like to target? You know, who's your audience, would you say? Okay, well, I'm really into, like, streetwear and things like that, but I, I'd really say anybody, any creative. So, one thing I would say is you're, you're doing videos, like, I'm seeing it's getting better. Over time, you're posting more. I don't know, uh -huh. I know you do more vlog stuff, but I would heavily, like, right off the bat when I hear, like, streetwear i think hype beast so to get traction to get your first traction because i feel like the hardest stages is the zero to a thousand that's just the hardest part ever like zero to thousands freaking painful and then a thousand to ten thousand like there's not much difference right so my best advice for you right now is to do shit that gets views that sounds sad but for example if you're able to put in the title uh, a tr oh, you know what you have to help me with this like a shoe that's like you know i know some guys and my friends they're like obsessed with shoes and they get thousands of views yeah. if it's a new release it, they get yeah. thousands of views so i would insert that in the title but then like kind of like segmented into like a vlog talking about entrepreneurship and then have like a strong call to action saying subscribe for all, even more lifestyle stuff so what i'm trying to tell you is titling right now it's a little rough all right guys so the camera died a little bit but we're back and i want to recap a little bit of what i said so a lot of you guys are confused or maybe questioning why you're not growing or on youtube and instagram youtube's a little bit harder due to the lack of curiosity you're bringing in your titles you have to understand the thumbnail of your Instagram video is typically the first frame. Make sure it's eye-catching, make sure it's relevant. I highly recommend time-sensitive things, culture, like things around culture, like whether it's a shoe that's really, really popular in your industry. So it all goes back knowing who your followers are, what are they interested in, and understand what's actually current instead of guessing with your own content. Listen to me right now, it is not about you, it's about how you can influence people. Being an influencer has nothing to do about yourself. It's about impacting people with positive. Whether the story of yours, whether it's tips and tutorials, you have so many ways to kind of get your message out there. But the first step is by helping people first and understanding what's relevant to them and really empathizing with their needs. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please turn on the notification bell. And if you want to be on the next Ask Jade show, hit the link below. I will do this weekly from now on. I know it's finally back by popular demand. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss out because... So click on the notification bell so you can actually get on the show. It always sells out. It just literally sold out in an hour. And I'm, I feel like I need to do more shows like this. So let me know what you guys think. I want to know your thoughts. Every single one. It gives me oxygen. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below your thoughts. And uh, the person who comments will win Darmination merch on the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.